Honorable Minister Dr. S. Jai Shankar, ladies and gentlemen, namaskar, good evening. It's a privilege for me to stand before you this evening as the chair of the Think 20 core group of India's G20 presidency and to deliver the introductory remarks preceding the ministerial address. Over the past two days, we have gathered here in Mysore, in Mysuru, for the Think 20 summit. Its success is testimony to the myriad contributions made by more than 130 members from 125 institutions from not only G20 countries, but from countries and nations around the world. The inclusive nature of India's G20 presidency and that of Think 20 India is in keeping with Prime Minister Narendra Modi's vision of leaving none behind. And that is also the G20 motto, one earth, one family, one future. Ladies and gentlemen, over the past eight months, India has held nearly 180 events in over 56 destinations across the length and breadth of the country. The success of Think20 India has much to do with the enormous support provided by the G20 Secretariat in the Ministry of External Affairs, led by the Sherpa, and especially the guidance and direction provided by Dr. S. Jai Shankar, the Honorable External Affairs Minister of India. This evening, we are all expectantly gathered here to listen to the ministerial address, albeit online, about to be delivered by Dr. S. Jai Shankar. And I have the singular honor to welcome and to introduce the dignitary, if that were really possible. Frankly, Dr. S. Jai Shankar needs no introduction, whether in India or on the international stage. In any case, it would be extremely difficult to try and put in a nutshell his very long and distinguished career, as also his numerous achievements. Suffice it for me to state this evening that Dr. S. Jai Shankar is a remarkable leader who straddles India's external engagements like a colossus. He is the only individual since independence to have headed the Indian Foreign Service, first as Foreign Secretary, and then to have been elevated to the high position of foreign minister in the same ministry. Today, Dr. S. Jayashankar is a key architect of India's robust and proactive foreign policy under the leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Over the past four years, he has translated India's foreign policy goals and objectives into concrete action, whether in promoting India's sovereign interests pursuing India's neighborhood first policy, or scoping new and strategic partnerships with countries ranging from those in Africa and Latin America, as also with major powers. His understanding of India's domestic landscape, and especially his ability to reach out to India's youth and to articulate their aspirations is well known. He has also given new meaning to the growing interconnectedness between the internal and the external as India's rise takes place in the global arena as a major economic power and as a voice for the global south. There are many quotes that I could borrow from Dr. S. Jai Shankar's speeches and writings, but the one most relevant to the G20 and to the Think 20 is his observation that the G20 is not the UN Security Council. It is not the primary forum to debate international peace and security. And as he has rightly stated, India has nudged the G20 to look at the core issues that really matter to the vast majority of nations. Issues such as SDGs, climate finance, gender equality, as well as health, education, and skilling. Ladies and gentlemen, in a polarized world, Dr. Jay Shankar has pointed out that the G20 is really an opportunity for all of us to demonstrate solidarity on developmental issues. As he has stated, the decisions that we make today have the potential to contribute to an inclusive, sustainable, and resilient future for all of us. Ladies and gentlemen, 
it would be true to say that India has taken the lead in pushing for collective action, including in the G20, at an important juncture and a very critical turning point in international relations. With these few words, I now invite Dr. S. Jaishankar, the Honorable External Affairs Minister of India, to kindly share his thoughts with us, particularly on how we can all come together to build a better and secure future for all. After that, the minister will be in a conversation with Dr. Samir Saran, and there will be a chance for all of you to engage the minister as well. The floor is yours, Minister Jaishankar. Thank you, sir, for joining us today. Namaskar. Good evening.